On to the high school ranks. Tom Izzo in the house at Blackhawk. More than likely to watch this young man, Caleb First. Braves taking on Adam Central in this one. All Blackhawks, second quarter. Marcus Davidson hits the three. Braves go up 18. Later on, Luke with LaGrange. No good on the stick back here. First there to clean things up for him. And then it's Zane Burke doing work on the offensive glass. He gets two of his game high, 23 to drop. And well, Blackhawk can do it on defense too. Braves force the turnover first, takes it to the cup in transition. The big man finishing with 18 points on the night. Braves go up 29 and a half. They run away with this one, 73-24. Final boy stop comes over at Kilmer Court. Snyder taking on New Haven at home. Panthers up double digits late in the second quarter. New Haven pushes back. Jakar Williams, the powerful punch in transition that cuts the lead to eight, but Snyder wouldn't let it get much closer than that. Michael Ely, no, pay attention, kids. He follows his shot, gets the floater, and then Isaac Farnsworth, the hoop and harm in transition. Three-point play. That puts Snyder up 14, and then, you know, just for good measure, Dylan Duff. They forced the turnover, and Farnsworth knew it immediately. That big dunk in transition. Snyder up 16 at half. They hang on for the double-digit win, 93 to 83. Our lone girl stop of the night comes in Auburn. Lakewood Park hosting Bethany Christian. Panthers kick off the scoring in this one. Franny Tellerico hits the triple from straight away. And Lakewood Park goes up three. This one was tight all night. Emma Thomas, a big reason why for Bethany. She left, she led the Bruins with 15, but this one was the Chloe Jaloff show. She gets to the rim, gets the roll, and then you're gonna see her split the defense, give her the bucket, plus the foul. She led all scores with 23, added 10 boards as well. Lakewood Park wins a barn burner, 36-32 the final.